welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm the mother of 10 children and I homeschool. Some of the things that I'm really passionate about are getting good deals on groceries because I have close to a million people to feed every day. So today I am shopping. I am going to Sam's Club first, which is where I am right now. I'm in the parking lot. <laughs> After this, I'll be going to Aldi. After that, I will probably be placing a few Instacart orders for things that I couldn't get um, at my two favorite in-person shopping stores. So I'm going inside Sam's Club right now and I would love to have you tag along with me. <laughs> well, I'm back from my Sam's trip and I, um, I didn't film a single thing inside the store. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. So, um, the total bill was a little over $300. I will show you that receipt. Um, after I've shown you all of the groceries from this shopping trip, but um, I did have to buy a birthday cake, which was only $15. <laughs> so it's not like that accounts for a whole lot there, but I did stock up for the next two weeks, um, potentially even further than two weeks. So next I'm gonna be going on over to Aldi. One thing that I wanted to say is if you have not tried Sam's um, check out as you go app thingy, you really need to do that. It saves so much time. I'm going to give you a quick demo of how it works because I was a little bit intimidated at first, but it is very easy to use and it really saves a ton of time because you don't have to go through the checkout line. So let me show you how I do that. Okay. So here, this is the Sam's app and you do need to log into it. So it's just the normal Sam's club app. What you're going to do is you're going to go down here to where it says scan and go and you're gonna click on that. Okay, and then what you do is you hit this button right here and it allows you to scan the barcode. You see those um, corners? You just line that up with the barcode and it scans your items. And then, um, let's see, let me, let me go back. I guess it would have been more helpful if I hadn't shown you how to do this in the store. Okay, so once you're ready, once you have everything that you need, there is a button that says go to checkout and you just click that button. It asks you to verify how many items you have in your cart um, so that you can make sure that you scanned everything. And then you just, um, you go ahead and enter your credit card information and you, um, you check out. So the first time I did this, I was with my daughter and it just, um, I spontaneously decided to try it for the first time. So I had to enter my checkout, my credit card information in the store, um, you know, which took a minute. If, if I was planning ahead, I would have done that before I got into the store. So if you decide to try it, get your credit card information in there ahead of time. And then you, all you have to do is slide a button and it checks you out and it's amazing. It saves so much time because you're not having to unload all of your groceries onto the conveyor belt or scan them yourself and then, um, you know, get them back into your cart. You do still have to wait in line, um, for someone to check your receipt, but it actually, it brings up, um, a QR code for the person at the door to scan. And then, um, she just checks a couple of items, you know, the same as you would if you had a regular receipt and then you're on your way. It really, it does save a lot of time, especially if your store is busy. So the way that I do it, I just scan each item before I put it into my cart so that I don't miss anything. And it is truly a lifesaver and a time saver. I just got out of Aldi. That took forever. <laughs> um, I normally shop with a helper so that I can have two carts and an extra set of hands. And because people are still sick and in their quarantine period, um, I wasn't able to do that. I was one of the first people to get sick. And so I'm well past that time, but I didn't feel comfortable bringing anyone with me. So it was all me all in one cart and I just about didn't make it. <laughs> My cart was, was huge as, um, as you probably saw in the thumbnail picture. So the total was $265. Um, and that's hopefully Aldi for two weeks. I do still have some things that I need to get, um, through an Instacart order through, um, probably Kroger or Wegmans, but, um, I got a lot of stuff today. So I'm going to go home now, get everything laid out and show you exactly what I got. Okay. I have all of the Sam's purchases laid out on the table. It's a lot. We're going to start with the birthday cake. Um, my son turned seven today and for some reason he requested a store-bought cake. So I decided not to take it personally and just buy him the cake. <laughs> so here we have 
two bags of these um, Southern style chicken bites. I think these are supposed to taste similar to Chick-fil-A and they kind of do, I've, the kids said. Um, so we get these for quick, easy meals with tater tots, usually when Ryan and I go out on a date night, um, the kids make this. So next up, I got two boxes of these beer battered cod fillets. Um, and at Aldi, you'll see I bought hamburger buns that I'm just gonna throw in the freezer. This is gonna be another quick, simple dinner um, that we can just throw together really fast on really busy days. So this is a 10 pound bag of um, chicken breasts for various dinners, usually in the crock pot is what I use that for. The kids are bringing in the rest of the groceries now. So these two purchases were not on my list, but they were on sale um, at a good price. So this pork loin um, was $1.99 a pound. We can get two meals out of this. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And then these pork chops were, um, I think $1.29 a pound. And so um, we're actually gonna, we'll grill these this weekend. Um, that makes dinner a lot easier and the kids all really love those. Um, this is their bone in pork chops. So this actually was an impulse buy. They had samples of this. Um, so I'm a vegetarian, so these are um, like chicken wings and they actually are pretty good. So I went ahead and bought a bag of those. Okay, next up we have romaine hearts. We will, um, I'll have one of my sons wash and chop three heads of romaine hearts um, to go with um, dinner. Um, so this is four nights worth of, worth of those. The kids love romaine. They love romaine a lot more than they like spring mix. So I've started buying this. <laughs> so I got a big bag of the coleslaw mix. Um, I was gonna make egg roll in a bowl um, with this, it's so good. And then I have all of these salad kits. They ha they're such a good price at Sam's and they're easy to put together um, to go with dinners. So um, usually we'll do two um, for one dinner, but this is a new flavor. So we're just gonna start off with one <laughs> just in case it doesn't go over well. But the Southwest one, the kids love this one. And then two heads of iceberg lettuce. I shred this up to go with tacos, nachos, and that sort of things. The kids love this type of lettuce on that. I got a big container of feta cheese to go on pasta and to go on salads. And then my husband started buying these instant oatmeals um, a couple of weeks ago and it went over really, really well. So I decided to go ahead and buy a 40 pack at Sam's um, for those mornings when breakfast is hard because actually even down to the five-year-old knows how to make these by themselves. So that is really awesome. Uh, two packs of blueberry bagels. Um, I got one of these boxes of Pirate's Booty. It's 40 individual bags and this will come in handy on our um, homeschool co-op days so that um, each kid gets a snack and I don't have to think about it. I got one bag of chocolate chips. I should have bought two. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. <laughs> My husband recently requested that I stop buying the Aldi chocolate chips. He wants real chocolate chips. So here we are. <laughs> I got um, two, two packs of their natural creamy peanut butter. It's really good. Um, we all like it a lot. It's a really good price. Um, so I need this um, to build up in my pantry storage. I've got a two pack of honey, two maple syrups, a two pack of Pam, pantry storage, um, and this is for pantry storage, also the cornstarch. Okay, next up I got the craisins. We like those on salads and sometimes in oatmeal. Croutons to go on the romaine salads. We usually use a light Caesar dressing to go on that. Everybody loves it, and with the croutons it makes it extra yummy. Um, another big container of bay leaves. I use a ton of these. I go through one of these probably every three months. And then the hot cocoa mix. Um, several of us use this in our coffee, me included. Then I got the, um, the Members Mark diapers. This is the first time I've bought Sam's diapers. Usually I buy them at Costco, but I didn't want to make an extra chip just to Costco. So we are trying these out this time and we will see if I like them. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you everything I got at Aldi. Okay, that Sam's total was $355.16. I realized that I completely forgot about the two rotisserie chickens that I bought at Sam's. So I bought these. I'll be taking the meat off of these in a little bit and using those in freezer meals a little bit later on. So I bought a whole case of these little broccoli steam bags. There's 14 here. We use these a lot. Um, 
individual people will steam their own bag of broccoli. We use them to supplement dinners. These are super handy and this is the best price. Um, right now they're 89 cents per bag, which is cheaper than you can get it anywhere else. Um, let's see, each bag is uh, 12 ounces. So that's the cheapest I've found. I have four pounds of this um, Italian ground sausage, uh, two for a dinner and then two for the freezer. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing um, freezer meals. So two of those will go into the freezer meals. Um, two bags of the frozen blueberries. Again, Aldi has the best price on those that I've found. I only got two cartons of almond milk. Normally I would buy six because I didn't have room in my cart for any more. <laughs> So I had to just go with the two. I'll get the additional four from wherever it is that I order the orzo from later. Three um, cartons of soy milk for the baby. Um, and I'm going to actually try and make some yogurt from it as well. That's what I got that yogurt for to use as a starter. So there's six loaves of bread. There are five dozen eggs. I really needed two more dozen, but again, I, I didn't have the room for it. Um, two boxes of margarine, two boxes of unsalted butter, two boxes of spreadable margarine, and then two light sour creams. I have five blocks of sharp cheddar here for making lunch mac and cheese. And then I have five um, sharp cheddar slices for grilled cheeses and two of pepper jack. I have a son that likes spicy cheese. There are the four bags of hamburger buns that I'm gonna be using for those fish sandwich dinners. And I'll be putting those in the freezer. Hummus. This was the only, <laughs> this was the only carton of hummus that they had in one of the flavors that I like the spicy and I like the garlic. So I bought one of these and then I bought two organic hummuses. Normally I would not buy organic hummus, but I needed the garlic. So I bought this for my husband. He, <laughs> he's in a office chair all day and his back hurts. So I bought him a lumbar support pillow. <laughs> Um, okay, we have four English cucumbers here. We use those for snacks. I got two bags of grapefruit, of red grapefruit. I have several kids who love those. Two um, bags of red grapes, they were on sale this week. Three bags of the mandarin oranges, which were also on sale this week. Two pineapple, they were only $1.99 a piece, so I went ahead and got two of those. And then two gala apples, these were the cheapest ones that still taste good. And then I bought a bag of the Granny Smith because my son, whose birthday it is today, he loves the green apples. <laughs> so those are for him. Um, a box of kiwis, a case of the unsweetened applesauce. Um, my kids love this applesauce. It's good to go with lunches. So um, I bought that. Those jalapeno chips are for my husband. <laughs> he asked me to bring him some snacks. Um, four bags of these uh, shells. This is going to be for the mac and cheese lunches. Some sea salt pita chips, pretzel chips, taco shells for taco night, two boxes of Raisin Bran for cereal mornings, um, the tortilla chips, <coughs> four of those. Then I also bought four of the old fashioned oats. I need to stock up some, I'm down to my last container. Um, I have four boxes of the uh, Aldi version of Ritz crackers. These, um, I use these in a few different recipes and the kids love them too. Four boxes of the cereal bars. These are only $1.29 and they're really good. So um, those are for co-op day as well. One thing of the Parmesan cheese, four jellies, two strawberries, two apricot. Um, I got these peanut butter crackers again for co-op day. And six cans of the Skip Jack tuna at Costco or I'm sorry, at Aldi. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is sustainably caught and it's smaller tuna. So the mercury load is a lot lower than normal tuna. So that's what I get for that. Um, three bags of these little um, fajita tortillas for quesadillas. And then last but not least, I have six of these um, wild rice mixes. This is what I use for my chicken divan that I do for the freezer. So um, I only had I only had six of these in my laundry room storage, so I bought six more so that when I make chicken divan, I'm not completely out. So that is everything. And it took me, I think like two and a half hours. <laughs> I'm tired. So now I gotta get all this put away and get the chicken taken off the bone um, for those rotisserie chickens, and then I get to rest. Thanks for joining me today.